Let's begin by creating our personal software template. This will set all your preferences in one file so that you can save time because you don't have to change the settings of the default template when you create a design. First, I'll open Object Properties, and let's say for my default type of step fill, I want to have step 11. I will apply that change, and then let's go to the Lettering tab. Here I can choose the style of lettering that I want to use for my default. I can change the size of the default of this font as well and apply that change. I can click on any one of these tabs and set my preferences. I'll close object properties and let's say I always want the design background to be a white background when I open my template. I make those changes. I can make any of the other changes here and click OK. If I right click on my threads, I can set my preference for my thread brand. I could even set a preference to do my own personal thread chart if I've created my own thread chart. I'll select the chart and click on Match and Assign All and click OK. Now when I rest my cursor on any of the color tips, it shows the color of the isocord thread. So the idea is you set up the template just the way you want it to be, and then select File, Save as Template. You can name this as My Personal Template, and Save. And you can close the file. Now, when I go to New Blank Design, my personal template does not open, but the normal template opens. To access my personal template, I must go to File, New from Template, and I can select my personal template from the drop-down choices. When I click OK, I can then begin designing and creating from my personal template. You can create multiple types of templates to suit your needs. They will always be accessed through the file menu.